So, finding the square root of a complex number, not by changing it into polar form and using De Moivre's, just to have the angle, and then obviously take the square root of the modulus, but by using quadratics to follow in from the previous part. So, the questions being 332 and 333. 332 first. So, question 3.32 was this. Find the square root, so what's the square root of 8 minus 6i? without changing it into polar form. Well, the technique would be this. Let that equal a plus ib, where, of course, a and b are real numbers. Which means that a plus whoops, ib squared has to equal 8 minus 6i, just squaring both sides. So squaring that would be a squared, twice the product, plus 2i a b square the last, i squared b squared, i squared to negative 1, so minus b squared equals 8 minus 6i. Arranging the parts together, a squared minus b squared, i times 2ab equals 8 minus 6i. Equating the real and imaginary parts, which means that a squared minus b squared equals 8, and also 2ab equals negative 6. 2ab equals negative 6. Or ab equals negative 3. Or b equals negative 3 upon a. So I can substitute it into this equation. So back to this one. And I have a squared minus negative 3 upon a squared equals 8. So that's a squared minus 9 over a squared I'll bring the 8 over, minus 8 equals 0. Multiplying through by a squared, I've got a to the 4, minus 9, minus 8a squared, so I'll put the 8a squared first, minus 9 equals 0. I'll not read the bottom of the page. A quadratic in a squared and a constant, so I've got a squared times a squared equals 0. It must be 1 and 9, it'll have to be minus the 9 plus the 1. This won't factorise to real roots. This is the difference of two squares. So this just has to stay alone. But this part will be a minus 3, a plus 3 equals 0. Which means a equals plus or minus 3. So back to here. If a equals plus or minus 3, that means that b equals negative 3 divided by plus or minus 3. So b must equal the opposite, minus or plus 1. Which means I can then go back to my original answers. My original answers must be that the roots are, where can I put this? So the roots are 3 minus i or negative 3 plus i, which I can quickly check if I just rub out this part here. So if the roots are 3 minus i and negative 3 plus i, I can quickly check that just by squaring one of them. 3 minus i squared. Square the first, 9. Twice the product, minus 6i. Square the last, that'll be negative 1. So that gives me 8 minus 6i. Board cleared. Right, same for this one. Let the square root be a plus ib. Again, not changing it into polar form and then using De Moivre's. Doing it by using quadratics. So let that equal a plus ib, where again a and b are real coefficients. Then, squaring both sides, I'll bring this over. a plus ib squared would have to equal 12i minus 5. So that's square the first, twice the product. <coughs> Square the last, i squared b squared, i squared is minus 1, minus b squared, equals 12i minus 5. Equating the coefficient same as last time, that means that the a squared minus the b squared must equal negative 5, and the 2ab must equal 12. So that ab must equal 6, or in particular, b must be 6 over a. I can substitute that in now. So I've got a squared minus, and b squared is 6 over a. Might as well bring the 5 over, equals 0. Multiply throughout by um, a squared. So I've got a to the 4 plus 
a squared, and that's 36 over a squared, so I'll just be minus 36 equals 0. Factorise that quadratic in a squared and the constant, so I'll just be a squared, a squared must be 4 nines to make a 5, 4 and 9 must be plus the 9 minus the 4, no real roots for that, so concentrating on this, a minus 2, a plus 2, this one won't give me any answers that I need, which means that a equals plus or minus 2, putting it back into here, b is going to be 6 divided by plus or minus 2, so that's going to equal plus or minus 3. So my roots are going to be um, 2 plus 3i or negative 2 minus 3i, which again you can check just by squaring them back up again. Or we'll just check it anyway. So I'll put this back up, I'm not sure if that bottom line showed up or not. So the roots are 2 plus 3i or negative 2 minus 3i. Quickly check one of them. 2 plus 3i squared. Square the first, 4 twice the product, 6 doubled is 12i. Square the last, that'll be 9i squared, so that's minus 9. So I've got 12i is positive and the other bit's minus 5, just to make it look the same way as it was before.